Hello, today I'm going to show you how to use stand task information for multiple tasks. First of all, let me show you uh, how can it uh, be used for one single task. For this purpose I have, as always, uh, as I always do, very simple schedule uh, built by three tasks. So, let me choose task one, for example, and in task tab, I will go to information. Okay. Here, I can choose predecessors, I can choose resources, I can put, uh, go to advanced tab and say, uh, uh, and choose which is constraint type, which is task type, etc., notes, and so on and so on. Okay, this is when I use task information only for one task. But let's say that I want to do it for all tasks. For that purpose, I will choose three tasks, all three tasks, but I can choose with, uh, I can select only first and third task uh, by holding control key and using my mouse. It will be the same result. But let me show you for all three tasks what, what I can do. I will uh, first select all three tasks, go back to task, information, and here. I cannot choose predecessors. Very simple. I cannot put notes. I can uh, put something in general, in resources, in advanced. So let's say that for these three tasks, I want that they have name my tasks. I don't know why this is available, but obviously it is when you don't select uh, all tasks, but only simple. So, for example, if you uh, 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 multi, uh, uh, some of them, uh, let's say that you have 100 tasks and you want to change the name for task 1, 32, and 74. So, if I go here and click OK, all my tasks will have the same name. I will undo it. Once again, go back to information. Here, I can put percentage of completeness which doesn't make a sense because this is finished to start relationship, as you can see, and it doesn't make a sense that all of them they have, for example, 50%, uh, but I can do it, and if I click on OK, all three tasks will have 50% uh, marked as completed. OK, I can change the mode in manual or auto schedule mode, so I can go to manual schedule, and you will see all of them are going to be in manual schedule mode. Back to information, I can put duration. So let's say I want all three tasks, uh, e each and every of them to have, let's say, four days of duration. And I will put, OK, here I, can, I have the same result. Undo it. And let's go back to information. Uh, uh, I can put start and finish date, which I don't recommend to do. Now here in resources, I can say I want John, okay, and I want Mary, okay, and I want Mary to work, once again here, Mary, where are you, 50%, okay. If I do that, I will have John and Mary assigned to all three tasks, John 100%, Mary 50%. Let's go back to information and let's go to, to uh, I was in, uh, uh, in resource tab. And you can see, if you go to resource tab here, you will not see John and Mary as assigned. Okay? Because now I can have task four, for example, and if I choose task one and task four here, okay, if I go to information tab and if I go to resources, I cannot see resources here because John and Mary are assigned to task one, but not to task four. So don't be surprised when you don't see your resources, which are, are already assigned. And last but not least, let me select those three tasks, go to information here, let's go to advanced. Here, 
I can put duration, I can put the deadline, okay, date of deadline for all three tasks. It doesn't make a sense, but somehow, maybe, you will choose three different tasks in your large schedule and you want to have, uh, to have a deadline set for those tasks. I can uh, uh, choose constraint type, which I always prefer to be, to be as uh, soon as possible, but maybe you, you will have start, start not earlier than. If you, if you say start not earlier than, you should pick a date, but everything was, uh, those, uh, those things are explained in my video, which explain constraint type. And here, two very important things. Here, cal first of all, calendar. If you want to uh, use your own calendar, and you forgot to assign that calendar to your tasks, this is the way uh, in which you can do it. So choose the different calendar and assign it to all tasks. But let's say that my tasks are, for example, fixed duration. And by default, it is fixed units. I can go here and say I want to change uh, uh, task type for all tasks like fixed duration or fixed work. Let's say fixed work, for example. Fixed work, okay. How do I know that this was changed? Let's go here, let's go type, and you will see fixed work. Once again, if I choose those tasks and go to information is and say I, I don't want fixed work, I want fixed duration, and if I click OK, you will see that it will be changed for fixed duration. So, information, uh, information window for multiple task information, which you, you, uh, you can see here, because once again, if I choose one task and go to information, you will see task information. If you choose multiple tasks, th that means more than one, and you go to information, you will see that you are using multiple task information. It is very useful, as I showed you, but be very careful what you are doing. Hope this helps. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.